I am almost 53. I'm an Air Force veteran and I'm disabled. My wife died a little over a year ago, so I'm the 52 year old disabled widower. United States Air Force medical pot using veteran. Not only that, I stay home and I game all day and I love hamsters. You know what that means? No matter what, I am the Internet's dorky grandpa. Glad to meet you. Hope you stay. Howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here, and I am off. How did I get so badly positioned in there? How odd. Anyway, um... I don't know if I should be. I'm experimenting with the clock over there, back behind my monitor, and then when my computer restarts, the CD tray goes poof, spits out. I haven't been able to figure out how to turn that thing off yet. And then it knocks the clock over, and the clock falls down, and it takes all my medications off, and everything falls on the floor, and it just explodes everywhere. And it's a mess, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not quite really happy with that either. But anyway, uh, neither. Here nor there. <coughs> I wanted to do hamster video again because I have stories to tell and, um, well, I have stories to tell. But down here, what do we have? What do we have? Hamsters. Little baby hamsters. They're not really baby hamsters anymore. These little guys. This is two batches. I guess I can say batches when um, it's actually litters. But <laughs> this little guy's underneath there going, what is this camera thing? So, but this little banded hamster, this little banded boy, is uh, Apple Mama's baby. And these chipmunks belong to, well, they don't belong, but their uh, point of origin was Golden Mama. <laughs> the one hamster is uh, making a run for it up my arm. <laughs> That's the fun thing about them when they can. They, oopsie, my little guy, back in my hand. Okay, now show them. Show them climb. Oh, you're not going to do it, are you? Oh, okay. So, I like it when they make runs for it. You know, you, you'll go, oh, little hamster, little hamster, and then you pick up that, oopsie. You pick up the hamster in your hand, but then you've also got hamsters that are all over. It's like a, a parasitic infestation. So, okay, I've got to figure out how to get these little guys off me. Darn it, I'm talking while I'm moving the camera again. Well, oh, guys. Okay, that bloody hand, I can't pick them up the way I'm supposed to. But they're on my... There we go. They're on the one side there. And my drums. And my drums. I have food all over the inside of the bucket. I've already fed them. I need to do something else though. You can see they're in a transitional. A really minor transitional. So I need to get them some water. Darn it, I was moving the camera while saying that. And I'm moving the camera again while saying that. Oh luckily though. Uh, luckily and unluckily, my uh, microphone's actually over here, so it doesn't matter that I'm moving the camera. I could knock the camera down and actually sprinkle sand on it for a sound and it wouldn't matter because the sound comes through the microphone. Yay! I keep forgetting. Thank you again, Blackjack. That thing is so awesome. It's a wonderful, wonderful speak. I have got hamsters all in that room. Again. It's like, how does that happen? Oh, no, guys. I need... Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. I need to show everyone um, you guys being moved. Because... Oh, shucks. Well, I'm going to be editing this, this silence part out, aren't I? Because hamsters need water, and because these are just transitional cages... Huh. And I left my tincture out all night. So I've got a empty cage there, 
a cage of... Well, no, that's not a cage of babies. That's a cage of patches. Okay, so I've got babies in here. Well, these aren't... They're babies. They're less than a month old. I mean, they are mature. They are sexually mature adult hamsters. Thing is, they're babies. And if they start having babies as babies, you're going to stress out their systems because if this is in the wild. They don't need to pump out babies as fast as possible. And so if you, if you let babies have babies like this, then the nutrition that should be used to make them grow and be healthy and enlarge hamsters is used instead to make babies. And so they stay small and sickly. And they have small sickly litters. And it's it's not good. So what you want to do is definitely, if you're going to breed your hamsters, and really you shouldn't. I mean, I'm taking a, a risk by breeding the hamsters that I have, even though I've got a pet store that's going to take them. And I've got uh, family and friends that want hamsters. The thing is, of course, it's you can have sudden inbreeding and just massive explosions of rodents if you're not careful. And then it just gets a nightmare from there. So, I've always been very, very careful and I've never let my hamsters explode like that. Ever. In fact, what happens is I have the opposite problem. I tend to uh, not have babies and then my hamsters get too old to have babies and then my hamster populations die out. Hey, little guy. Here, I'm going to put you back. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I'm going to put you back, and then I'm going to start this process. Excuse me. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here with another piece of supplemental sit prep. Um, the good thing is we actually located Furby. That is good. Uh... The bad part is Furby had gotten locked into a room all by her little lonesome here in the household and uh, no food, no water, no cat box for over 24 hours and at her age and her health that wasn't, uh, that's not good. But she's still alive. Uh, she was, she's not sitting on my chair still. She's just too sick to get up there. and. I mean, I'm glad we found her. I'm super glad we found her. I was worried sick, but she was in the other room there. She was sitting on the table there. She's uh, since taken off since, which means right now I don't know where she's gone again. Which means, of course, considering how old she is and how sick she is, she, I mean, any one of these times where I don't see her, that could be what happened. She's that old and she's that sick and I don't know what to do. I mean, I'm I'm glad we found her. I'm super, 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 super glad we found her. That is awesome. But she's uh, she's just not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. And I don't know. I just wanted to uh, let everyone know, though, that uh, they're still. <laughs> I'm still on a roller coaster. Woo, woo, so here we go. Yay! Okay. Well, I'll be seeing you on uh, one of the game videos. I just want to let everyone know. At least, Furby was okay. I don't know if she's okay now. You know, when a cat is sick and and old and dying, you're lucky if you can even keep your eyes on it. So. I'll keep you informed. Take care. I'll see you on the flip side. Me. Oh, my sinuses are going crazy. So I'm going to start moving these trons. Trons is short for hamatron, and my wife called them hamatrons. I'm going to move these hamatrons, these little trons, down into this transitional cage. My hamsters like me. They more than like me. My hamsters like me. My hamsters. Oh, 
pillow guy. You see, this is going to be semi-quick because, you know, they can get out. But, the good part about that, well, good and bad part, I mean, it's not, well, I hear also. Okay, oh my gosh. See? One, two hamsters that are already loose. Okay, little guy, you need to come back here. And you, little guy, need to come in here. Oh, and that one's trying to get out on me. Okay, this is what I need to get back on there before it's too big. Ah! They're both out! Oh no! Come on, little guys. I got a bad story to tell about that. Come on, come on, come on. There. Now, this is not dangerous for them. You see how I've got a hole there? You know, I don't have just a hole for air. These have holes punched on every side and a million holes punched in the top. Generally, this one is really short-term transitional because it's so small. I'm just going to be moving them like this so that I can take these hamsters and move them into the other transitional cage. I need a steady cam. I mean, what do you do, though? I don't have a steady cam. I want to show between hamsters in groups. For something like this, I mean, I don't have a, anything I can do but just hang on to it. And it's hacking awful and burps around and is squeakly. Okay. See, I've got a water thing here because I make sure that my hamsters can drink water and not H2SO4. I have never, well, except for that one time, I have never used H2SO4 instead of H2O to uh, give my hamster fluids. Okay, I've never used actual H2SO4 because that's sulfuric acid, and I've never given my hamster sulfuric acid. One. See, here's a, a funny story about this, which is both, whoops, she flopped over. This is actually both not funny and and not funny but it ends up being kind of funny you see yesterday my son Brian Kip he likes the name Bry Kip because he likes mud kips and so Bry Kip mud kip you know I got seven little hamatrons here that I'm transferring one by one but he had been playing with the hamsters, and when we were done, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little German, German? Seven little Germans. And so, at the end of the day though, when we were counting all the little lobsters here, this was all we could find when we looked in the cage. And no matter how many times we counted and took out the hamsters and then put them back in there into the cage, there were only six. And I was like, oh my god. Because I was sick to death. And Bri Kip was sick to death too because he didn't want the little hamster to die. Well, we also kept counting all the little males and I could only count three little males and so I was certain that we had you know a hamster on the loose and the cats were going to get it and I was just hoping that Bert would find it first but then middle of the night last night I get up, look into the hamster cage, and lo and behold, in the hamster male hamster cage, I see four hamsters. And then I realize, uh oh, what we did was Brian took the little female. 
you are just sneaky. Took the little female, that's her, and stuck her in with the males. So I was worried sick, but the only thing I gotta worry about now is whether or not she's pregnant. So the transitional cage over there is now empty. This transitional cage has now been filled with the female hamsters. Unfortunately, these hamsters are largely going between just transitionals. And that's driving me crazy because I don't have enough money to buy another cage like this if I want to buy myself my, uh, my new computer parts to make myself a brand new computer. And I need to have a cage. I mean, that is incredibly important. You can't not, because if I don't have a cage, uh, she's going to kill and eat her babies. And that is not an option. I guess um, it may turn into uh, you wonderful, wonderful, beautiful people who have been donating to GoFundMe might have donated uh, to buy at least one more hamster cage so that my hamsters don't do horrible, terrible things. Luckily, I'm going to have more space when uh, the pet store takes these little girls because I need to go in tomorrow and uh, talk to the pet store again. They said to go to see them in one week when they'd have space. And I got lots of little girls. See, look at how beautiful those little ladies are. Let's see if I can zoom in. Look at that. You see, they're all just happy. They're all suckling. They're all drinking wonderful hamster milk. Well, I assume it's wonderful hamster milk. I've never drank hamster milk, nor do I ever plan on drinking hamster milk. Did you see the way that nipple just popped out? Now we're searching for it again. There we go. You can find it, little guy. Oh, he's complaining. Oh, I think he found it. There we go. See, he just swallowed it on down, and now he's drinking. These are suckling hamsters. Man. See, you can really see that one, uh, one from the, one over from the left on the, well, he's on the right hand side. The, if you start from the left, it's one, two, three. If you start from the right, it's number two. You could see the, his little mouth movements as he was swallowing because he was, you know, sucking milk. That is awesome. I've never been able to get this close before. She's always woke up. And when she wakes up, of course, she jumps up and stuff. Because she's seen crazy stuff happen. I gotta turn my neck and it's really uncomfortable, so I'm gonna... That's our, my babies. And their eyes are open. So that's wonderful. These are the last of the babies. I don't have any more pregnant hamsters. And for right now I don't need any more because I need more cages. There's like um, chipmunk tooth. Oh, off in the back. You see there, that's Iron Balls McGinty. Iron Balls McGinty is sleeping. There, you see that yellow thing there? That's a Goldie. And there's Patches, slash socks, slash, I was going to rub all the fur off my nose. He's Bobo. Somebody just woke up. 
don't know. That might have been Mama going, hey, hey, that hurt. That Bobo, he's my biggest hamster. Every other one of my hamsters is like small. Oh, yeah, that noise was Mama going, hey, that hurts. And adjusting herself. Okay. Yep, here's Bobo. Just wanted to bring out Bobo, because he's huge. All of my other hamsters, as you see, tiny, huge, tiny, huge. Even my other hamsters, you know, like my chipmunkies, they're they're pretty big, but there ain't nothing compared to Bobo. So I don't know who the daddy is on a lot of these. Uh, these ones, they could be Bobo. I bet the banded ones are Bobos. But the other ones could be Marshmallow Man's babies. And could be the babies of Iron Balls McGinty. Come on, little guy. If you're gonna fall off my arm, let's go down here. Whoopsie. You see, he's gonna be the leader of the Bamsters. The bio organic. Uh, bio organic. Oh, biomechanical organic augmented mechanical. Uh, etc., etc., etc. He's the leader of the Bamsters. They're. They look like just hamsters, but they are genetically and genetically modified and surgically, cybernetically altered to become super hamsters. And they go out and they fight injustice. They were uh, altered in the laboratory to be uh, like a terrorist weapon, the Bamsters. But they uh, they broke out and decided to be good guys, and so they go off and they do good things, the Bamsters. And so he's Sarge, and Sarge is, he runs roughshod on all the others, but they go off and they do good things to rescue people and stuff, because they're the Bamsters, bio-organic, mechanical-assisted, and then it's supposed to be for the termination and eradication of a rogue citizenry, but they didn't like that. They were, they were not bad guys, they're good guys, so they keep the Bamsters, but it doesn't stand for the termination of a rogue citizenry. He can smell female hamsters on my shirt. And thank you for watching my uh, little hamster video. I've got to do uh, more dandelion leaves. I love dandelion leaves videos. And the hamsters love dandelion leaf videos because they get to eat dandelion leaves. And so if you've, uh, if you've liked what you've seen, if you liked what you've heard, if you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. Uh, if you could sub to the channel, I would really appreciate that, and I think Bobo would like it too. Uh, share the video. I'm sure Bobo would like to be shared. He's a he's got lots of hamster batter to share. Uh oh, come on, little guy. Don't get lost. If you got any comments, you can leave me. That would be awesome. I've been answering comments like crazy because I love it. Thank you, each and every one of you who's commented on each and every one of my videos. I love it. I can't remember what I was saying. Probably something about comments. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. I, I never, I always wondered what I would do if I got comments. And then I started getting comments and I have just had a, a blast. Thank you each and every person. I think you did. It is literally like a ray of sunshine in my world. Well, anyway, uh, if you check the show more down there, it's got links to my GoFundMe and, and everything because I'm starting, trying to, the main thing I'm trying to do right now with my GoFundMe is to save up so I can have a, com a good enough computer so that I can make the videos that you guys deserve. And uh, I will see you on the flip side. My hair is almost like hamster hair, isn't it? Wouldn't that fit there? I mean, it doesn't, there's no real comparison between my face and the hamster testicles, but, uh, come on little guy, you know, don't do the comparison between my face and the hamster testicles, I know I'd lose, what I'm saying is, aren't I almost as fuzzy as a hamster? I, yeah, I'm really dizzy now, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to check to, to see if I was fluffy. I'm starting to defluff because I need to take a shower in a day or two. 
Okie dokie. You take care. Thank you very, very much. See you later. This little guy just wants to get away.